Apple Arcade combines entertaining, premium mobile games into a low-cost monthly subscription. If you're ready to dive into the best games, check out these 10 titles that'll make you abandon free-to-play cash grabs. Hello, this is Clash of Games, and we are back with another video. If you love gaming or are fond of trying new things online, well, this channel is for you. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications to be notified of every upload. Mobile games have a widespread stigma that has kept them at the bottom of the popularity charts for years, at least when compared to PC and console experiences. There are, of course, exceptions. Pokemon Go and Clash of Clans, for example, have demonstrated that games on small screens can be more than just microtransaction-heavy propaganda or digitized tabletop adaptations. Like other expansive catalogs, Apple Arcade is brimming with games that push the envelope, from experimental JRPGs to ported blockbusters. So, if you have an iOS device and want to break into the mobile scene, try out the 10 gems listed in this video. First is the Oceanhorn 2, Knights of the Lost Realm. Just five years old. I remember it so vividly. He came by with a wooden sword. Oceanhorn 2, the most mechanically involved game on this list, provides a fantastical sandbox and a third-person perspective with a dynamic camera. The RPG, which looks similar to Breath of the Wild, is also available on last-gen consoles, making this solid port more impressive. City towers cast long shadows over cobblestone paths, and scalable grassy knolls stretch as far as the eye can see. Real-time combat with well-timed dodge rolls, opportune sword slashes, and pinpoint accuracy with the sidearm makes the action feel fluid and exciting at the moment. Oceanhorn 2 isn't The Legend of Zelda, but it's damn close and shouldn't go unnoticed on your mobile device. Dear Reader, Before you start replaying painful memories of arduous high school English classes, you should know that Dear Reader is more than just a text parser. It's also a word puzzle game. These puzzles range from filling in blanks with appropriate words or phrases to swapping lines to create coherent plot event sequences. With over 50 books to flip through, this is the ideal game to stimulate your mind before bed, while commuting, or during breaks during the day. But of course, Dear Reader also appeals to more than one audience, namely bookworms and puzzle enthusiasts of all ages. Star Trek Legends We can't go through this list without mentioning at least one gotcha game. But trust me when I say they're not all bad. Star Trek Legends lacks the epic intergalactic space cruiser battles seen in the J.J. Abrams remakes, but the on-the-ground combat is strong and flashy. You'll wait your turn to boost your party's morale in exchange for more damage and team attacks. Certain abilities result in brief cinematic takedowns. A word of advice, read through the story before casting your vote for new crew members. You'll want to spend your time learning the accessible flow of battle, learning what DPS, tank, and support classes can bring to engagements, crafting a mission, and bridge team. Those who stay behind can provide buffs for your mains that take advantage of their respective strengths and determine which abilities are the most valuable. Grindstone Grindstone breaks up the monotony of dungeon-crawling loops with an intuitive puzzle-solving system inspired by Match 3 games. You take on the role of Jory, a beleaguered Viking warrior. He enters the monster-infested mines atop a nearby mountain range, hoping to earn enough money to get his family out of their wintry Scandinavian village. That satisfying sound of Jory's blade slicing through rows of colorful beasts kept me smiling, and enticing rewards that popped out of treasure chests and high-tier enemies forced me to constantly weigh survival against riches. Of course, the adorable character and creature designs are the icing on the cake. Fantasian It goes without saying that Apple Arcade could use more JRPGs. Nonetheless, Mistwalker's Fantasian ticks all the boxes. An amnesiac protagonist living in a cross-dimensional universe, gorgeous dioramic environments, a diverse cast of pals who pack a punch, deep turn-based combat, and Nobuo Uematsu's musical expertise. What more could you want? What if I told you that Fantasian takes the JRPG formula to new heights with Daimenjian battles, bypass random encounters, and instead face off against entire armies of enemies you've avoided in a single epic battle replete with power-ups galore? You can see this revolutionary mechanic in action by watching the trailer above. Hi there! We really hope you are enjoying this video so far. If you do, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, and please feel free to share your thoughts in the comments down below. Shantae and the Seven Sirens Shantae and the Seven Sirens does not reinvent the wheel for the franchise's nearly two-decade run. In fact, it improves on the previous installment's platforming formula and cartoonish art style. Shantae navigates a tropical island and even dives down below the water's surface to explore a sunken city on occasion in this adventure. Colorful cutscenes and heartfelt music share Shantae's world's upbeat atmosphere. However, responsive movements and attacks, perhaps the most important aspect of highly interactive mobile games, 
distinguish Seven Sirens gameplay from that of many of the other titles on this list. The Oregon Trail The Oregon Trail was first released in the 1970s, and despite being marketed as an educational game, it paved the way for future adventures. You embark on a perilous cross-country journey with a small band of settlers as a wagon leader, with your own backstory. For example, banker, carpenter, farmer. The modernized version of the classic by Gameloft honors the legacy of the original while removing its controversial features. You'll still have to work to survive the horrors of the vast wilderness, devastating disease, nearly fatal injuries, and starvation. Native Americans, on the other hand, are playable protagonists this time around, reversing the original's harmful depictions of indigenous peoples as savage villains. Alto's Odyssey – The Lost City That game company's journey inspires the long-awaited sequel to Alto's Journey. Alto's Odyssey is an endless runner, but don't be fooled by its simplicity. Sandboarding through shimmering dunes, past quaint settlements, and over deadly canyons can be especially punishing, especially as the sun sets and obstacles along your route become more difficult to spot. Every second counts. A late flip off a ramp could mean the difference between gaining speed and having to start all over again. If you want to do something a little more relaxing, you can enter Zen mode and take a low-stakes, atmospheric cruise down Odyssey's endless beachy slopes. Steven Universe – Unleash the Light This selection may appeal to fans of the Cartoon Network show, but if you enjoy RPGs, it's still worth your time and attention. Most film or television to video game adaptations fall flat on their faces, making Unleash the Light a rare find. It has no right to be as good as it is. Steven Universe's mobile journey is a perfect homage to its base material. With vivid art evocative of the popular cartoon, an original story written by series creator Rebecca Sugar, performances by the beloved voice actors, turn-based combat that relies on combos, skill trees, and party customization, and a sizable cast of playable crystal gems and their more powerful fusion counterparts. NBA 2K21 Arcade Edition NBA 2K is arguably the best sports franchise on consoles, albeit with some microtransactions-related caveats. The Arcade Edition manages to translate the already polished dribbling and shoot mechanics from controller to touchscreen somehow. Combine that with the in-depth My Career Game Mode, in which you create a baller and rise through the ranks to become a new era GOAT, and you've got everything you need to live out your basketball fantasies while on the go. Head-to-head -head modes such as online multiplayer and blacktop make a return if you want to rain down buckets on your trash-talking pals. Finally, a new game engine improves animations, AI, and on- and off-court presentations. This is, without a doubt, the most visually appealing game on mobile devices. Apple Arcade was still a fledgling service with a lot of potential at this time last year. You could get unlimited access to a large library of interesting games for $5 per month, the kind that no one sells in the App Store anymore. Arcade is still not a place to find the latest blockbusters, but it has steadily evolved into one of the best gaming deals. Its game lineup is diverse and consistently surprising, ranging from family-friendly multiplayer games to engrossing puzzlers to strange story-driven adventures. If you've recently purchased a new Apple device and have signed up for Arcade, the sheer number of games available can be daunting. We hope this list assists you in deciding which one to try. Are there any games that you'd recommend? Please leave them in the comments section and be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications to be notified of every upload. This is Clash of Games, and we will see you in our next video.